Hi guys, welcome back to another video for YouTube channel. So today's topic is from veterinary pathology, and the topic is genesis of heart failure cells. So we have seen heart failure cells in our veterinary pathology lessons and sometimes in veterinary medicine section. So we will be studying how they are formed in the animal body or human body. The mechanism of action or mechanism of formation of heart failure cells is the same whether it is in case of animal or it is in case of human beings. So if you haven't subscribed this channel yet, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. So this is actually the anatomy of heart. So you should have to just revise your veterinary physiology or cardiovascular system physiology before learning these things. So these are the walls, this is the left atrium, left ventricle, right ventricle, right atrium and you can see this is iota and from the right ventricle you can see this pulmonary artery and there is pulmonary veins. So this is actually the circulation, the image of circulation. So you can see this is the left heart and this is the right heart and you can see through the arteries and all they will be reaching the lungs and they will be oxygenating. So this is actually the uh, circulation pattern in case of animals. So you can just see these things. The red will be the blood carrying oxygen in arteries and blood carrying carbon dioxide is represented in blue. So basic mechanism. So we will have to look on to the basic mechanism by which heart failure cells are formed. So the basic mechanism is actually through phagocytosis. So phagocytosis will result in the formation of heart failure cells. So you can see the antigen will be captured by the phagocytic cell. The antigen will be captured by the phagocytic cell. So we can directly move to the genesis. So first of all, left ventricular failure whenever there is left ventricular failure that is commonly known as heart failure so it will be leading to pressure increase in the left atrium so what happens the left ventricular failure will result in increased pressure in the left atrium so what happens this pressure is transferred to the pulmonary veins because pulmonary veins will be bringing oxygenated blood into the left atrium. So what happens? The pressure will be transferred to the pulmonary veins from the left atrium. So this pressure is transferred back to the lens by pulmonary veins. That is the pressure will be transferred back to the lens which are received by the pulmonary capillaries. So this pressure, this excess pressure or the problems generated due to the pressure problems in the lungs which will be received by the pulmonary capillaries. So what happens next is these pulmonary capillaries will be surrounding the alveoli. They actually surround the alveoli and what happens in the alveoli? It's the air exchange. So the function of alveoli will be air exchange and here the pressure increases due to the problem that happened in the left ventricle. So this will lead to that is actually due to excess pressure generated in the pulmonary capillaries. What happens? The capillary endothelium permeability increases due to the excess pressure inside the pulmonary capillaries. So, through that endothelial permeability gap, RBC starts to move inside the alveoli. So, where alveoli is the area where it can accommodate only gas, but what is it happening? RBC is going to the alveoli, alveolar spaces. So RBC inside the alveolar spaces will be completely recognized as an antigen by the macrophages of lungs. Because RBC is not the usual inhabitant of alveoli. So alveoli will be considering the RBC as an antigen and what happens? The macrophages will be coming and eating the antigen. That is the RBC or the macrophages will be phagocytosing the RBC. So RBCs are foreign material for alveolar macrophages and the phagocytos these RBCs. So that will lead to RBC phagocytosis. Then what happens? Inside the macrophages, 
the RBC is break and the pigments are released that is actually hemosiderin will be inside the macrophages. So hemosiderin laden macrophages take birth. These cells are otherwise called as heart failure cells. That is cells produced inside the lungs due to the failure of heart. So what happens? This is the genesis of heart failure cells. So cells generated in lungs due to heart failure. So this is actually the alveolar barrier. You can see the alveolar type 2 cells, alveolar type 1 cells and all. So this is the capillary and this is actually the endothelium. So whenever the capillary pressure increases, the endothelial gap widens and through this gap, the RBC comes inside. So these are actually the heart failure cells. You can see heart failure. Thank you.